Hey everyone, it's Jen, and today I have to have for you some of my photo books to show you. I went back to Boston for Christmas and packed up some of my stuff to bring back to Utah with me. So these are just some of the things I'd like you to see. I'm probably I'm not going to do all three of them today. I'll probably just do one book each day, or maybe I'll get through this one and this one here. But I just wanted to see wanted you to see what I have. So right now I've got my Yellowstone National Park. This is from when I was there in summer season 2014. This, I think this is actually the very first book I made. And I made it on Shutterfly. So um, it'll be interesting I, I, for you, I think, to see the difference in how my books look and how I make them. Um, based on this first one here. Also, I have this one, which is um, a Polaroid album. What does it say here? Uh, expired film and obsolete cameras. Uh, this was, all of the photos in here were taken on Polaroid film. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that when I review this video, uh, review this book. And then my third book, is Los Angeles to Boston 2005, uh, October 2005, and there's a picture of me in case you were wondering what I look like. That's what I look like. That's what I looked like 19 years ago, almost eight, 18 years ago, I guess. So this book has seen several iterations. I've actually, I think this is my third version of this book. And this book here will be, I'll do this one on my next video as it's actually taken from like various blog posts that I did. I'll just give you a sneak peek inside. It's just like, um, that's the house I used to live in on Los Angeles. And then this is a blog post I made back in 2005 about driving to Boston. So, so what I'd like to do is I'll read you the different entries in here and talk about the trip itself. And then um, basically this is like, I really, this is one of my favorite books and I've worked on it three different times. Originally it was like a rectangle and then, I don't know, the pictures were done differently, but now everything I think is much more kind of professional looking and like sort of minimal. I honestly, if I was going to go back and do it again today, I would probably change some of the font sizes on different things. Like I think they look a little large, but we'll talk about that later. So let's go ahead then and take a look at our first book here, which is Yellowstone National Park, Summer Season 2014. I'm actually surprised I've never gone over these before. But I went through my video archive, and I have not, so it'll be, I think, good. All right, so one morning I skipped going to bed after work and decided to go out in search of grizzlies. Instead, I ran into a bison jam. So, um, I, when I first went to Yellowstone, I worked in a job it was basically like a dorm proctor or like a dorm mom. So I worked from one o'clock in the afternoon to 5 p.m. And then again from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And often at 2 a.m., a lot of people, like all the food and beverage staff would have gotten work off work around 12, 30, one o'clock in the morning. And so after I finished my shift of, um, at two, 2 a.m., I was often still wide awake and, um, you know, would hang out, have a drink with people, have people in my room to kind of hang, you know, just sit and chill. So uh, it's not unusual for me to just stay up all night long, especially if it was like a weekend, uh, like my weekend. So if I worked, if I was going to have, I think I had Mondays and Tuesdays off. So if I worked Sunday night till 2 a.m., then there might be times is if I wasn't going to have to work until like Wednesday, then I would Monday, I might not even go to bed. So this is the case on this day. Um, I, I remember this day cause I remember trying to sleep 
and I couldn't, so I just got up, put my clothes on, and this was like dawn, like a little, like I left, when I left my location, it was actually still kind of dark, and then by the time I got to where these bison are and this, um, this RV, it was like the sun, I mean, it was starting to get day, so... And then, like, when I first drove up, I could barely see any of this. Like, I could barely see that RV in front of me. It was, like, so hazy, and there was, like, lots of fog on the road. All right, and then this is one of my favorite pictures. Let me put this out a bit for you so you can see the whole thing. That's one of my favorite pictures, this bison with all the different birds on his back. Cleaning him off from various insects and stuff. So, and these are all photos I took. Okay, and let's see what else we got here. So we got more bison. We have quite a lot of bison. There's tons of bison in Yellowstone. And these are all taken in Hayden Valley. So it says, bison are by far the most ubiquitous animals at Yellowstone. They are ornery and unpredictable, which makes them fun to watch. And their babies are really cute. So you see this, one of the babies, um, they call them uh, colloquially in the park, people refer to them as red dogs because a lot of guests are confused by what they are. They don't realize that they're bison sometimes. So, and we, I don't know, we just call them red dogs. They kind of look like a dog. A small, unusual looking dog. Let me see. I don't know. So, this big bison there. And then let's see, we've got elk. There's lots of elk in the park. So, here are some elk photos. So, one of the things you'll notice about these pictures is I've put like various like decorative frames on them and like colored backgrounds. Most of the books that I put together nowadays, I I still occasionally will use like decorative frames and like colored backgrounds, but I tend to stick more to simpler design and like black and white. And then often I'll put like more photos on the page than I did in this first book. So we got different elk here. Got another elk here. Let's see, what did I write? There aren't huge numbers of elk near Lake Yellowstone, but I still see them occasionally. Most of them live in other areas of the park. So Yellowstone, I forget exactly how large it is, but let's put it this way. For me to drive from one location, like I worked at Lake Yellowstone, for me to drive down to, say, Grant Village, which is the next closest area to where, like, there's like lodging and campgrounds and stores and stuff. That would be about a 45 minute drive. The same going back to Canyon Village, 45 minutes. And then for me to get from like Lake Yellowstone to Old Faithful, I want to say probably about an hour and 40 minutes, to, probably. And that depends on how much wildlife is out. All right, so uh, when I arrived in Yellowstone, it was on the 1st of May when I entered the park. So these photos were taken on May 1st and June 2nd at the same location in Hayden Valley. So winter stays in the park pretty late. Lots of snow on the ground. When I was driving into my location on May 1st, there was pretty some pretty big snow banks on the road. In here, winter fades into summer swiftly. And then down, so this actually is a cheat. That's not a Yellowstone photo, that's a photo in the Tetons. But I wanted something that w w more showed the summeriness. And then down here, this is Lake Hotel at um, uh, Lake 
Lake Village in Yellowstone. So it's really beautiful. I love how clear and blue the water is there. Uh, oops, sorry. I'm just, I'm working with my phone camera today because whenever I need to clear my throat, I can just pause the video and then put it right back on again, where if I use my regular camera, like doing overhead or on the tripod, uh, I take ages to edit it. And uh, as you guys may have noticed from some of my previous videos, that means it's a long time before the video gets posted. So today I'm just using my phone camera. So this is, this photo was taken in Lamar Valley. So uh, from where I worked, this is probably about a two hour drive maybe actually maybe a little further maybe like two and a half hours but it's still inside the park and it's one of my favorite parts of the park I just love this picture mm. this is Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone very famous area of the park Uh, Grand Canyon the Yellowstone is actually not too far from where I worked. I would say about 40 minutes or so. And then uh, you can see the little rainbow in the water droplets. Sort of water droplets in the air create a rainbow effect. This is just above um, a waterfall. just be Actually, just below. So there's the water falling in and then all the water droplets uh, and this is the Great Dane of the Yellowstone this is actually just a dog I saw in one of the parking lots and I thought he looked cool so I took his picture my parents did not get this at all they were like why is there a picture of a dog in your book about Yellowstone? I'm like, uh, because, I don't know, I thought it was funny. So there he is. And then uh, this is Tower Falls. And then this is West Thumb, which is about... I mean, I feel like most of the things in Yellowstone, the way they design the loop road is to have everything about 45 minutes from the next thing. So this is about 45 minutes from where I was living at, at Lake Village. So it's called West Thumb. It's like a little geyser basin. You can see... So you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's like a little pathway. There's a little, you can't walk through the geyser base, of course, because you could fall through the crust, but you can see where those fen that fencing is. That's like a, a boardwalk that goes around the basin, the geyser basin. And then over here, we have some of the different steamy areas. And then this is called... Oh, I forget what they called. It's like fish something or other. And there's old, uh, it's like fish hole or, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember it and I should have written it down in the book. Uh, but basically this image, there are old vintage postcards and pictures of people fishing and then cooking their food in this little, Hot spot. So people would go and fish in the lake. This is Lake Yellowstone here. And then they would catch a fish and they would not even bother taking it off their um, fishing hook. They would just plop it right into this little hot spring and cook their fish and eat it. So this is back in the days where people could go and beg basically to these national parks back when they were first founded and essentially do whatever they wanted. All right, and then this is another picture taken in Hayden Valley. As you can see, I messed with the saturation and color quite a bit on this one. 
I like quite like that photo. And then this is the last page. So here we go. So these are just different things. There's me in the middle. Um, at This picture was taken at Artist Point. Uh, and then we've got, uh, that's a pelican down here. It's a pelican, bison, flower, little baby bison down there. More, lots of bison. <laughs> so there we go. All right, so that's that book. And then there's the back of it. All right.